Now let's look at how we can measure a specific volume of water. This is great for aquariums or maybe home brewing or something like that. I'm not going to show how to calibrate it. That's something you really need to dig into the data sheet for. There's lots of considerations. The pressure in the vessel you're using, the, uh, the calibration of the original water, the shape. There's, there's so many factors. I really can't go over it in just a few minutes here, but I will show you how to generally hook it up and we'll measure whether the water has increased or decreased in an unknown volume. So hooking it up. If we look at the data sheet and some of the examples online, we can see that pin two and three are the only ones that need to be hooked up initially. And I'm using female to female jumper wires right here to connect to those pins. And then I'm going to use male to male to connect the female to the breadboard. So simple enough, I've added some wires here because you don't want to solder to this. This is plastic and if you get these too hot, you can damage it. Okay, let's hook it up. So pin two is yellow. I'll put that right in row one and pin three is in row five. Now we can connect pin three of that E-tape which is the green, to ground. And we can connect the pin two right here to analog zero. Now the last thing we have to do is connect the power. And once again, I should unplug my Arduino, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to connect pin two and again, I'll just go right over this gutter here and then connect that to five volts. So pin three is connected to ground, pin two is connected to analog zero and then through the resistor to pin five. We should be all hooked up and ready to go. Let's plug it in, wait for it to recognize. There it is. Upload the code, it's uploading, and open up a serial monitor, and we already have some voltage there, okay? Now, this has some very specific usages here. You're supposed to attach it straight using either food safe silicone or clipping it to the top of your container. It really shouldn't be bent. I'm going to bend it. I'm not that worried about accuracy right now. I'm just showing you the basic setup. Now I have 1.99 right now, 9.6, pretty close. Let's see what happens when I add some water. Went up all the way to two volts. So it did work, but it's not calibrated. I could probably use a smaller resistor in there and get much finer measurements out of here. You're going to want to take a look at the data sheet for your specific use and your own calibrations before you add this to your own project.